My name is David Snyder. I'm the owner of Lost River Farm in Kelloggsville, Ohio, Ashtabula County. The farm is about 250 acres. A Lost River Farm is a really diverse property. We have um, some farmland at the road front. Uh, we've turned some of that farmland into uh, the site for our harvest festival. Um, the conservancy extends all the way to the road front on, on part of the property and uh, there's a, a beautiful little swampy forest by the road. I think it was created when they put the road through but it's become quite a quite a habitat in its own right. North of that we have the field where my wildflower labyrinth is and we've been working on that for several years. We'll be able to see it from the air. It shows up very well uh, in, the, in the spring, sometimes at the, just at the right time when the dandelions are blooming, the whole thing is lit up yellow. It's beautiful in the spring. North of that is, uh, I think they call it an emergent woodland. It's uh, a young forest. Um, the, it's mostly small trees. There was a lot of ash that mostly died, but nobody goes in there either. And it's, uh, it's become quite a bird sanctuary in there. And if you keep going north, you get down into the river valley. Down there the, is where the coyotes and the whitetail mostly roll. We've seen uh, black bear here. Uh, eagles are a regular visitor. Um, there's lots of hawks and, and we've seen and heard more owls lately. The property uh, went from my grandfather to his father, his, my, my father, and uh, to me. And so it's uh, third generation, uh, about a hundred and, well, almost 120 years. My first memory of the property was of the, the funny little salt box shaped house at the road front. That's where my father lived. Uh, my, my parents split up when I was young, but we would go visit. And I remember the house pretty clearly. Um, I didn't know much about the land back then and, and uh, I didn't grow up here. I wasn't, I would have loved to have grown up here. It, it's so beautiful, but um, um, I didn't really get well acquainted with it till I was in my 20s. I had graduated from college um, and I, I was in industry, I was in the welding industry, uh, had several jobs there and um, after my father passed away I, um, I started to have to take care of the property and later on after I decided to leave um, Lincoln and you know business and I started to uh, spend more time out here. That was about 15 years ago, and and I've really decided to make it, you know, the the focus of my life to to make it into the to something that uh, that the area can be proud of, and people can come and visit and uh, get away from uh, the city and see what the forest is like in the summer. The Ashtabula River uh, flows through Lost River Farm. Um, we own both sides of the river and we've protected all of that property uh, with the conservancy. This part of the Ashtabula River is really the only part that doesn't have development right up to its banks. And it really needs to, to stay that way. I'm hoping that that trend doesn't continue and that they, they wipe out all the forest downstream. Um, that puts a lot of pressure on the animals. They don't know where the property lines are. There's a lot of deer and a lot of coyotes, a lot of small animals. I mean, it's a big, nice valley, but it's not big enough for everything that, to come and live here. Lost River Farm means a lot to me because uh, 
the family history I have here. I think that in the future that this will be, you know, kept up and in, into a place where people can come and visit and they'll appreciate the, the beauty the way I do. I think they'll feel like I made a good decision. It seemed like a natural thing to make Lost River Farm into a, a nature conservancy. When I was younger, I, I didn't think it was a big deal to go in and cut down a bunch of trees, but uh, I've kind of changed on that, and, and I really think that, that it needs to be preserved and allowed to grow. A hundred years from now, 200 years from now, this will be old growth forest. I mean, it'll, it won't technically be, but it'll match it in character, character of the trees and, and the, the quality of the woodland will be that of an old growth forest. It really is not something that could ever be duplicated. It's, um, it's a uniquely carved, sculptured, a unique geological piece of land that's, uh, that I, I think, really rare in character. I think the Western Reserve Land Conservancy has been a real blessing for me and Ohio as a whole. Ohio is one of the most deforested states and the forest that's here, it's important that we, we protect it. I think that forest clearing is one of the biggest problems that we have on the planet. When you cut down a forest, you're, you're really doing a lot of damage. Preserving the few forests that Ohio has left is, is a very important thing.